Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Excel. In this module, we're going to look at the search function and the len function and see how you can pull text strings out from a long list like this into an individual cell. So first of all, how the search function works. So if I click into this cell, you can see the formula there on the formula bar, looking for the, the word URN or the phrase URN into cell B3 and then the first position. So this is how it works. It's looking at this string for URN and it's returning how many characters it is in from the left hand side. So this is saying it is 14 characters in. So it's not just the text that you can see, it's including spaces as well. So that's the search function. If I just click into it, you can see the help there. So find text, find this text in that cell and start at that position. Now the length function is basically the length of the text string in a cell. So same thing, looking at cell B3, how many characters are in that cell? And that is returning 35. So there are 35 characters in that cell. So then to pull off this information that's highlighted yellow, you, you do this formula. Now I've got the search function there looking for the URN and the length function there. So the length is, remember, is this function is the length. So the length, according to that, says 35 minus the search function, which is the start point of this URN, which says, says 14. So that's in the middle of this formula. So what else have I got in this formula? I've got the right function. So what this comes up with, whatever figure this comes up with, it's going to move from the right and just display the information. Now, the reason I've got if error at the beginning is because if there's no, there's no information, it comes back with the value. I'll just tick this and take this if error off. I'll just show you that for a second. Get rid of that bracket at the end. So there's no if error on there. So at the moment that should be okay. But if there wasn't a URN in this list, if I just change that, it comes back with value. So that's what the if error function is doing. Just getting rid of that. If I just do undo and undo again to put the if error back on. Now the right function. So basically just to remind you what the right function does, if I just do that in isolation somewhere, if I go equals right click on that cell there and just say comma five, five characters in. It's just taking the five characters from the right of this formula to bring that in there. So that is the, the search function is giving you a start number and the length function is giving you the whole length. And then you can see how that works there. Now another feature on this right hand side, which is quite cool, using the new array, dynamic array functionality is this. I've got a formula set up to look at this green cell. If I type any word in this cell <clears throat> that's in this list, it will bring it back. So if I type um, 054, for example, anything with 054 in this list will be returned. If I type in new anything with new in this list will be returned if i type bell bell will be returned if i type jones jones will be returned so this is almost like a little lookup it's bringing all the information back not just one part of it and you're not having to do um obviously if i do urn it'll bring them all back because there's a urn in every single one but what, I, what I've done here is, um, again, I've used the, the search function, which starts off looking at cell G2, which is this cell. But th this time, instead of just saying B3, I've highlighted the whole of that area there. And I've done the same with for the right function. I highlighted B3 to B15, and the same with the length function. So the dynamic array brings everything back like this. And then if I want to change the, the, the character at the top, um, if I put A, anything with A is going to come back and it just brings that in there. If I put back, if I put um, URM back in there, it just drops everything back in. 
So that's the, the how the search and the len can be used to bring back information off a text string. So the scenario would be that this is being dropped into your spreadsheet from a non-Microsoft system, maybe a CSV file output, and you want to pull bits and bobs out of this text string. That's how you would do it with this formula. So the starting point is um, len minus search, basically. So if I just try and do all this from scratch, if I just insert some columns here, just insert another one. So I'm going to basically copy this formula uh, so you can see how it, how it sits there. So if I just copy this so we don't make any mistakes as we go in, copy that and just paste it down there as text so we don't make a mistake. So this is what we're going to start off with doing. Start off with equals and I'll do the, the len b3 minus search first off. So I'm going len open bracket b3. So I'm closing that. So that's going to give you the text length minus the search. So the search function coming up, finding text. Now, because I haven't got it anywhere, I'm just going to have to type it in like this urn in quotes, comma, and it's within text B3. And then I can just close that bracket. And if I just tick that at the, as it is at the moment, see what happens, comes back with a number 21. So if I put the right function on this, I'm just pointing this plus one out for a minute. If I put the right function, so it's going to be right 21 in. So I'll go right at the front, open the bracket, and all of that, close the bracket at the end. Click the tick. It's just come back with one because I missed something out there. I missed B3 out. B3 needs to go in there, the comma. Now it's come back with, it's missed the U out. So that's why there is a plus one there after that one. So if I just go up there and put plus one in there. Remember, it's just counting where it is. It puts the URN in. Now, if I delete um, the R from there, that comes back with value. I don't want value. So if I just undo that, this is where the if error comes in. So if I put if error in front of that formula, open the brackets, if error, if all that returns an error, comma, either zero or quote, quote, to leave it blank, blank. I'll just put a zero in there for now, because that's what this one's got down the bottom there. And then if I tick that, it comes back with the number. If I get rid of the URN, it comes back with a zero. So you're not, you're not getting the error message. Just undo that. Now what we're going to do guys is look at this setup using the dynamic array functionality on the right here. So there's the formula on the formula bar, which I've copied and put down here now. So you can see what we should be typing. And I'll use this cell as the reference point. Now I think I'm going to have to delete this out of the way, just because it will be in the way. Get that out of the way. So and I can get rid of these two as well, I suppose, if I just move this up over there. Just bring these out of the way, get rid of these. You don't need to see those now. Okay, so if I type this formula in this box, I'll just move that down a bit. So starting off with equals if error. So the first thing that we want is the value. But um, if I just Delete that for a second. I'll have to move this a bit further down so we can all see it. To so do that again, equals if error, open bracket, and then another if statement. So if search, so when they're doing search, open bracket. So that's the three functions there. So if search, whatever goes in F2 in this case, comma, is in this list. So that's. Um, B3 to B15 still the same list. 
close the bracket. If that is there, it will be greater than it will be greater than zero. So I put greater than zero. So if that's true, comma, then we're doing another function, the right function. Open the bracket on the right function, and then we're selecting the same list, b3 to b15, comma, and then length of b15, b3 to b15. And then we need to close all the brackets on that. So closing the, that bracket, closing the if bracket, and cl closing the if error bracket. And then at the end, comma, zero. Oops, in fact, quotes, close that bracket. And then it all drops in. Move this out of the way. Now, if I change that to bell, it just brings that in. And then new, it just brings that in. So that's using the, the dynamic array functionality in Excel. And that's a great little feature. It's like a little VLOOKUP. And this is just using the straightforward search functionality with the len search and if error functions along with write to bring back the end of it now if we go and do a little exercise on the next sheet so what i've got here is some figures at the end of a text string which i want to extract like this so there's the formula again so this time just copy that down here for us so we can see it this time, I just require the pound sign. Anything past the pound sign at the end, that's what I want to return. So we're going, let's do the len bit first. So if we go equals len, in this example, it's going to be a nine. Close that. So the length of it minus search. For the pound sign, which you need to put in quotes, pound in cell A9, close that bracket. Now, if I tick that, it comes up with nine. So that's the difference. Now, if I put the right function, so if I then go right, so that's the number. Remember, we're going to have to put plus one at the end of that. So if I go right, open bracket a9 so it's going to come in nine characters and then at the end of that I'll just close the bracket without the one click the tick it comes back and you can see it's missed off the pound sign so in there plus one take the formula comes back with a pound sign so that's just back to just straightforward search and len using the right function. So there's an example, a couple of examples of how you can use search and len, uh, len to bring in information from a text string. And this example obviously is using the new dynamic array function functionality to bring in information from a list. In this case, all the information, if it finds that particular item. So if I just put 29, for example, comes back with that. 34 whatever you type if it's in that list it will bring it back including part of the word like there let's put the whole word back trowbridge so i hope that's been of use to you guys and thank you for your time and i'll see you on the next one